before you say anything, I was supposed to go on a road trip this week with the Isuzu D-Max, but lockdown happened and I got stuck in Sydney. Strangely, I still have use for a ute because I have a perfume business and I needed to transport around lots of boxes this week, so it still came in handy. This is the D-Max X-Terrain, which is a four wheel drive. It costs just under 60 grand drive away at the moment and competes with cars like the Mazda BT50 and the Toyota Hilux. Now I'm not your typical audience for a ute, so I have reviewed it from a family perspective. If you're looking for a more detailed review, head to the Cars Guide website where the lovely Crafty has done a deep dive into the D-Max. <laughs> It looks large and square, like a ute. And aesthetically, while it's not particularly appealing to me personally, I don't think it's meant to. It's meant to look tough, like it could take you on outside the pub if it needed to, or take you across a river, or carry you up a gravelly mountain. That's the vibe I'm getting here. Side looks decent enough. There are leather accented seats which feel comfortable and they look good. You get a leather steering wheel, you even get uh, a pebbled dash up here with some exposed stitching and look while it's by no means luxe it still feels good to drive in and plus it looks very easy to clean when you come back in from your muddy camping trip which you'll no doubt take in this ute. You'll get a nine inch multimedia display with sat nav. It's got corded Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay, both of which are pretty great for this category. You'll also get an eight speaker sound system. It's not amazing, but it's good. For storage in the cabin, you will get two cup holders in the front, a nice deep tray here that I used for keys and a phone this week. You also get a little tray on top, but it's quite flat. You might want to pop an iPad in there. Plus you'll get a center storage bin. It's a decent size and bottle holders in the doors. And the space in here is massive. It's really high off the ground, so you're already feeling tall. And there is loads of leg and headroom, even for taller people. This is a bigger person's car. Rear passengers also have plenty of space and my kids happily used the side step to climb up and in. There is loads of leg and headroom back here as well. I can fit easily back here. I'm 161 centimeters or five foot three. There's enough space between my knees and the seat in front that taller adults, other teenagers won't have an issue back here. You can easily fit three children in the back seat, but the D-Max only comes with two top tether points and two isofix points, so you can't actually fit three kids' car seats back here. Adults will fit fine though as well. Rear passengers get two cup holders in the centre armrest, plus their own directional air vents, which my kids always appreciate in summer. Now, instead of a boot, you've got a giant tray, which is great if you're going away camping for the weekend, you need to carry loads of things for the family with you, or if you've got your own business and you need to make deliveries all the time, or of course, if you're a tradie and you're carrying tools around. If you're a working mum, however, and you're just doing the school run and going to work, a tray is not as convenient as a boot. Yes, it's bigger, but it is so enormous that things are going to slide around. Groceries, school bags, the pram, suitcases. It's all going to need to be tied down before you get into the car to drive away, which is just a little bit of extra work every time you put something in the boot. Is that going to get annoying? I think it would personally, uh, but how annoying it is, is up to you and your lifestyle and how much you need a really big tray because if you're going to use it a lot, then it's worth it. The great thing about this boot though, is the slide on cover that opens and shuts and locks. The most surprising thing I found about the D-Max 
is that I actually enjoy driving it. I really love it being so high up off the road and I really love the power of a three litre engine. It sounds quite loud for a diesel, but you know, it comes with the territory. There's the quiet confidence you get with having a proper four wheel drive. The turning circle isn't even as large as I thought it was going to be. Nothing feels awkward and the steering is actually easy. So when you go to park, as long as you leave a big enough space, because it is quite a large car, parking isn't too bad at all. You get a decent enough reverse parking camera. It's not super high res, but it's what you'd expect for a Ute. The official combined fuel figure is eight litres per 100 Ks, and that's diesel. My average fuel this week was 10.4 litres per 100 Ks, and that was doing mainly city driving, though some highways thrown in. Safety is comprehensive with auto emergency braking with pedestrian and cyclist detection, rear cross traffic alert, and lane departure prevention, which is actually quite strong. It's got two isofix points and two top tether points, so just keep that in mind for families. Plus there are eight airbags throughout the cabin. I'm not a huge fan of utes, but as far as utes go, the Isuzu D-Max X-Terrain is a good one. It's got great styling inside, so you feel good sitting in it. It's got spacious enough interiors for a family of four. Drives pretty well for a ute, Plus it's got the latest in safety and technology. I gave it a family rating of 7.6 out of 10 and my kids gave it a seven. They didn't love the color, but they loved climbing into the tray in the back. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel or click through to our website.